Now I know if you're faced by a par three of anything like this distance and it's an iron for you, it's gonna strike absolute fear. And I mean absolute fear, right? Well, it would to me. So I've got a method for you today that works pretty instantly to get that ball striking back with your irons because we're gonna be covering these major points. Because learning to hit down on that golf ball allows us to get the middle of that club face. Look, if I said representing hitting down is our club moving like this through the golf ball, you can really see how the middle of the club lines up with the middle of the ball. If we don't hit down, we're gonna be more be in that place, right? We're gonna be there. And that's those weak thin strikes, especially, right? On par threes like this, we don't want. So let's get into it. So that is what we're facing today. Tough hole, right? Let's start off by covering low point. And let's do it just by placing a club in your sternum. Now, this is not for you just to listen to. I want you to have a go at this with me and interact with this video. So I've got A-Tan in my hand and I've got my ball in a tie in ball position. If I said to you, and I mentioned this already in this video, we want our low point to be ahead of the golf ball with an iron. Well, look now. Again, if I represent middle of my sternum where I'm dangling this club as the low point of my swing, the swing circle, we need it to be ahead. Well, we've got to transfer, we've got to open, and we've got to be over that golf ball because look now where the club hangs. If I was to stand up and lean back and even try and transfer my weight, look where my low point is. So you can understand if you're forever a golfer that is in this family, even if you had that real intention of getting through the golf ball, it would be seriously hard for you to do it. Whereas the confidence I'm gonna give you is that you can stand here, feel comfortable to go, you know what? I can strike an iron, I can hit the green on a par three, and then look at the angle of attack there, minus 5.4 that illustrates I've hit down on this golf ball. And you know when you hit those shots sometimes when you don't feel it, that's when you get it out of here. And you can sort of see this area here is where I managed to get that. Now you only get that is as I said before, we work the club in this fashion, we hit down. We don't lean it back and scoop up. And that's all to do with controlling your low point. Low point ahead, it's a lot easier and more likely to get that beautiful crisp strike. All you're gonna need for this drill is a water bottle. And I wish I could find a smaller one. I'm trying to drink a lot of water and I guess this is uh, helping me do that. Okay, so there's two placements. I'll let you decide which one you prefer. Let's start with number one. Placement number one, get your correct ball position. Again, I've got a time here. And you know what, even just give this a little bit of a check. Um, I think a lot of people forget this sometimes, where we should have our correct ball position. And that's really gonna influence low point too. So my first placement is to place my water bottle just outside my right foot. So the objective at placement number one is to not hit the water bottle. So you could really look at my legs here. As I drive and move through, my heel doesn't switch back and sort of move in a situation where I was to knock it back and fall back. Go back to where our low point in our sternum would be, falling this way. That's not gonna be a good strike. What we are looking for is for you to stand here and really drive in onto that left hand side and move through the golf shot, avoiding this. So position number one, we're gonna place it, once you've got our ball position, just there, like that. I'd say two fingertips away from your right heel and learn to strike that golf ball away. Just like that. So hit five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 shots with that water bottle placement just outside your trail foot. So your right foot for a right-handed golfer and your left foot for a left-handed golfer. Now, if you loved that one, this next one, you're gonna love even more because I think I prefer this one. Because, I mean, like you drive, I mean, I'm doing this in my legs now. I mean, you, you can't see this, but you really drive in and your focus is totally different. So let's get into this one. Now, this is just a reminder that this channel is powered by you, the viewers. 
And this hole right here is a long iron all day. And Matt's asked, can you do a video on hitting long irons from six iron and down? So we're gonna hit six iron for our next shot, because this is a tough hole. Ease your way in with eight iron, hit a few shots, get comfortable, and then move into the longer irons as I'm going to do now. But if you wanna have your question answered just like Matt, simply subscribe, turn the bell, just pop your comment or query down below. It really doesn't matter what it is, absolutely anything. I wanna help you play your best golf this summer. Let's get into the next placement. Okay, I have six iron in hand now, let's go. And this time we're gonna place that water bottle just inside our foot. Now I like this one because I like to feel as though I drive open and try and kick the water bottle. Now, if your water bottle is big like mine, it might not fall over. I want you to have the idea and the attention of touching it, okay? Because going back to what I was saying earlier and we don't touch it, look where my sternum and therefore my low point falls. So if we have that fun and go, right, okay, now I've got six iron ball position, I'm gonna drive, kick that over, look where my low point moves as I drive and I focus on this shin hitting the water bottle. So the idea of this drill is that we've got a real focus and I think that's a key aspect. You've got focus with feedback because how many times do we go to the range and we go, hmm, yeah, I don't really know if I've worked at anything. If you hit the water bottle on the second drill, you miss it on the first drill, you know you got it nailed. Maybe alternate between them. So your placement is just inside that shin, just here, and all we're trying to do, as we start down, we wait, we wait, we work in, boom. I'm not doing it like this. I'm really feeling drop, open, in. Look at the bottle starting to move. And simply when you're comfortable, even have a few reps just like that. Just like that. I think that's really sort of underestimated how powerful that is. And then when you're ready to rock and roll, hit crunching, whoo, that danced around that flag. Hit crunching iron shots like, boof, that. Where you start to get a little bit of a divot. Thanks so much for watching. 